हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट एट वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर लाइफ वेलकम टू अनदर बुक रिव्यू पॉडकास्ट बाय टीम थिंक रिव्यूज व्हेन वी थिंक अबाउट आर्म फोर्सेस आर्मी नेवी एयर फोर्स एंड पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस ऑल टुगेदर वी इमेजिन द पीपल हु स्टैंड स्ट्रांगली एट द बॉर्डर्स टू कीप द कंट्री एंड कंट्रीमैन सेफ एंड सिक्योर and their job function is not restricted to the border areas only in any of the natural calamities they are the ultimate saviors more than the physical strength and extended help of arms and ammunition they require very very strong will power and mental strength but there are even more aspects of their job profiles there are opportunities provided by armed forces which most of us are not aware of when we came across a book shoot dive fly with the tag line stories of greed and adventure from the indian army by author rachna bish rawat curiosity to explore the same quarter tightly was the book was available at quite attractive rates on amazon uh, we are talking about the kindle edition of the same is part of the book promotion we grab the chance and bought it the book remained in our kitty for long due to a very long queue of books to be read and reviewed however we have decided to read it out of turn fortunately from our team i got a chance to read it The book explored many other aspects of army and what an army man or woman is entitled to do if he or she is qualified for the task. It is almost an unknown world especially for regular readers to explore. Here are my views and reviews for the same. Needless to say as always the views and reviews are uninfluenced by all means. Now let us take a look at the cover page of this book. Of course, a book cannot be judged just based on its cover page for sure. But the influence of the cover page of the book on a remarkable number of purchases and or reading decisions cannot be ignored as well. As you can see in the podcast cover, the cover page of this book reflects the book title quite effectively. A para commando is seen diving from height. The posture of the diver is able to irk interest in the reader about this book for sure. It reflects all the qualities and attributes of an army commando. Sun rays making their way from the mountain range through a little cloudy sky reflects the spirit of army and commandos quite effectively. Overall a fantastic cover page is per my opinion. And now let us take a bird's eye view of the book content. Rachida Bish Rawat the author has distinguished the content of the book in five different segments hanging by a thread in extremes the incredibles training to be a soldier popular myths busted at the end of the book you will find an additional informative segment how do i join the army i don't think we need to discuss what to expect in this segment right the author has talked about various interesting and challenging extreme activities including sports some of the selected soldiers or commandos goes through it ranges from conquering mountains including Mount Everest to participating in bungee jumping river rafting and other such extreme sports and but of course it includes various shooting championships including participation in olympic game you may not imagine but there are special wings and quota under which the enthusiasts get a fair chance that to while getting paid for duty 
the cost of the training participation equipment transportation and others are taken care of by the army the book also explores the incidents where these commandos need to work in very demanding and challenging situations and they cannot afford to make a mistake it includes counter insurgency operations risk operations and many others actually you name it while it would be easy to talk about the incidents talked in the book along with the name of the soldiers or commandos involved in the same i would like to avoid all the spoiler i want to add just one line here like male soldiers you will find incidents involving their female counterparts as well and now what i think about the book the forward for this book is written by m s toni an officer of the indian territorial army and a cricket legend who don't need any introduction actually the indian army is respected for its qualities around the world so frankly it won't make any difference however when a sports legend associated with a segment of army paints down the forward it surely becomes interesting for the readers especially the youth and the main aim of the book is to show the non traditional career opportunities in the indian army in that context this gesture surely works in favor of the book let me share an incident where the army troops needed to do a covert operation against some internal and social elements then need to prepare for something unexpected then need to swim for 7 kilometers to reach to a specific island in freezing cold water where weather is another challenge and they have a time span of roughly 4 hours to complete it successfully you will understand the kind of preparation they need to do from the fact that they have rehearsed it 30 times as yes, there is no place to have a mistake here is a segment from the book in the same context it's a dark night the 30 foot deep loktak lake stretches out like an unending ocean disturbed only by the soft splash of oars moving through the water the narrow canoes 8 feet long are making their way over its cold depths each sitting armed soldier in diving gear and it continues the book also talks about a soldier's posting at amar siachen glacier the highest battlefield in the world the soldier shares that when the army chopper took him there to drop with arms food and other utensils and the firing and shelling from pakistani post started the pilots didn't give it a thought and did their job properly as yes, it is a routine for them it is such a terrific situation that we cannot even imagine by sitting in the comfort of our drawing room or office in a soldier's words he tells me that big glaciers are capable of creating their own weather and that's why even though the weather department has predicted a sunny day dark clouds had started looming large over their worried heads the book tells a lot about how soldiers needs to prepare for a mission and what are the kind of things they need to carry with them when performing a trek in the himalayas or other ice clad mountains they need to carry kerosene and stove also it is part of their essentials list in such cases a person needs to be fit but what matters the most in the end is his attitude a positive attitude helps you take on every difficulty as a challenge it makes a difference between carrying on and giving up and often between life and death this never say die attitude is the best thing you can learn from the academy the book also shares an interesting experience of a commando who got a special permission from ib ministry to perform a stunt from a mobile tower it would have been impossible otherwise for him if he was not an army soldier 
Also the way a soldier then go ahead to buy a bed suit is simply an amazing reading experience. Also the exploration of snow clad mountains by female soldiers is something you don't want to miss. It reminded me of some of the books I have read recently including Love on the Everest by Dipti Ayagiri, Everest ki beti, inspiring journey of Arunima Sinha among others. The book conveys a very important learning lesson from soldiers especially when they come alive from a very critical situation. It says when you face situations like this you surpass your own limitations. This lesson is applicable in almost all the aspects of life. The author also mentions some other unusual operations army is called in for and there come some cases where the desired results are not achieved despite the best efforts being put in. For example, a small kid fell in a borewell hole. The poor parents, villagers and authorities cannot do anything and ultimately the army troops were called. The rest is available to read in the public domain. But the way the efforts are done from the army men is something you cannot stop yourself from appreciating. Then work area ranges from the cold Kashmir valley to the burning hot desert of Rajasthan and Kutch. And they don't have a luxury to get their body accustomed to the weather and surrounding. When they are called, they have to be in action. And sometimes they find even dangerous situations amusing. Well, here is an example. Sometimes we could get visits from black bears who would raid our tents and steal our rations, but nobody minded since there were enough for men and bear both. The author is good at exploring two quite opposite emotions in a single segment. Here is an example. It never failed to hit me though just how beautiful Kashmir was and just how ugly the situation. Here are some convictions of army soldiers. They believe in them and they live by them. In war, Every soldier prefers to carry ammunition over food since ammunition can make the difference between life and death whereas it hardly matters if you don't eat for a few days my heart fills with love for those men who i know will always stand by me even facing death i know it because i would do the same for them to be honest Doing anything for the first time is always scary. The key is to be prepared. Take every possible precaution and yet be ready for unknown situations. Here are a few more books we got a reminder of while reading this one. In Enemy Hands, a novella by main actor, Operation Jinna, a military thriller by Shiv Arur. Another good thing about this book is the segment containing information about respective activities and the ways to join them. I think the quotes we have talked about till now must have given you a fair amount of idea about the quality and the content of the book. And you might have already got a glimpse of the spirit of the book as well. In summary, it is an interesting book exploring the different sides of the army it explores various ways an adventure enthusiast can think of joining indian army it is kind of a university curriculum written in a very interesting way by marketing experts by remaining faithful to the truth thinker views rating would be around 7.5 to 8 star out of 10 So, have you already read the book? Are you planning to read it? What do you think about this book review? Do you find it helpful in deciding whether to go for the book or not? Please do share your genuine remarks via comments below. If you have enjoyed listening to the review, please hit the like button and do not forget to share it with your friends and other fellows whom you think such reviews interest more. 
till we meet with our next podcast bye bye take care namaskar